Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another action figure review, and today we'll be taking a look at this Gotcha Tomy, um, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing Mini Knuckles. Alright, to be honest, I don't know what to call this figure, because, yeah, I, I just don't know. That, and I'm too lazy to look up what it's actually called, so, yeah. Anyway, enough of that, let's talk a little bit about my history with this figure. Now, I have a lot of nostalgia with this figure. I went to a Blockbuster one day, and in case you don't remember what a Blockbuster is, they were, it was basically a place where you could just rent movies for ridiculous prices, like 6 or $14 just to rent a film, but yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, my friend told me that they sold these, so I looked all over the place, and I couldn't find them, and then I finally found find them. So the first one I got was Knuckles, they came in like these blind, like, uh, these blind bags or whatever, or blind boxes, but anyway, yeah, I bought Knuckles, you know, he was the first one I got. I was hoping for Shadow or Sonic, but to be honest, I was happy with what I got, so Knuckles was okay to me. And then one day, I found another one, right, and I opened it up, it was another Knuckles, you know, knock knock, it's Knuckles, but yeah. One day, I go to the mall, there are two left, I buy both of them. And they're both Knuckles. At this point, I was saying to myself, oh no, but yeah. And then one fateful day, I was 12 years old at the time, one fateful day, I go to the mall one day, I go to Target. They have one left, so I bought it. So when I bought it, I was expecting it to get a Knuckles. I got a Sonic. And at this point, my mind was blown because this was the first time I got someone that wasn't Knuckles and I was just freaking the fuck out like holy shit I got I didn't it's not Knuckles you know holy shit thank god so yeah bottom line this figure somewhat pissed me off when I was a kid because I had so many of these when I was a kid it was ridiculous but yeah anyway enough of that let's talk about this figure now first we'll talk about the paint and the paint is Eh, I mean, the colors for Knuckles are there. Uh, actually, Knuckles is really cool because I don't know if it was just Knuckles, but he was the only character that could actually come off of his vehicle, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, the paint for Knuckles here, it's what you would expect. Oh, he has that yellow strap on his shoe right there. The gray Lego brick right here on the top of his shoe. His traditional green socks and, uh, yeah, the undersides of his shoes are gray. The gloves are white, as well as the eyes. The muzzle is, you know, like a skin tone color, which, yeah, it's to be expected. His nose is black, and for a really small figure, the nose is actually painted pretty decent. I mean, granted, it's just, it was just probably, like, just dabbed on there, but still, it looks nice. And the eyes... They actually look gray on mine. It's kind of hard to tell because the eyes are just really small, but yeah, either way, to me, they look kind of gray. If you know Knuckles, then you'd know that his eyes are purple, but yeah. Also, the crest on his uh, chest right there. That should be a little bit higher, but this is a really small figure. It's the size of my thumb, so yeah. Of course, there are going to be some, you know inaccuracies or not inaccuracies but maybe like minor mistakes but yeah anyway knuckles is all right he gets a pass now for the quad and yeah they didn't try basically it's just red and the wheels are black and yeah and in case you haven't noticed that says tomi under there and the reason why i'm bringing that up is because before the 25th anniversary of sonic and before sonic boom tomi actually produced uh like little minifigures for Sonic. So, yeah, they made the uh, buildable Sonic figures that I reviewed, uh, I'd say, last year, and, yeah, they kind of suck. And the Danglers, which is, there's something I'm going to be talking about later on as well, but, yeah, either way, they made these, and, yeah, they didn't do too much of a good job. But now that they own the rights to the actual toys, you know, I think they did a good job with the classic figures, at least. The Boom figures kind of suck, but... I actually haven't seen the modern figures yet, but whatever. Either way, yeah. But, 
Yeah, that's pretty much it for the, for the paint. For knuckles, it's alright, but for the quad here, yeah, no, it doesn't get a pass. So, yeah. Anyway, now I'll take a look at the articulation. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a quad, what else do you expect? Actually, oh wait, no, never mind. I thought the, uh, I thought this could turn, but no, nope, guess I was wrong. It's been a while since I've actually held this thing, or just touched this thing in general, but yeah, and Knuckles, he doesn't have articulation at all. However, he can flex his arms to where he can fit on the quad, so yeah, let's do that. Yeah, basically like that. But, yeah, there's no articulation. Understandable, this is a really small figure, but, yeah. Pass and a half, I guess. Now for the sculpt, and the sculpt is... Alright. Um, let's disattach knuckles here. Yeah, um... Yeah, it looks alright. His tail looks a little weird, but, yeah, other than that, it's what you'd expect from Knuckles. Just, yeah, looks alright. And for the quad, yeah, it looks alright too, you know? Just kind of bland, but, again, it's okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the sculpt, and, yeah, it, it gets a pass, it's... Alright, I guess. Now for the detailing, and for the detailing, there's really not going to be much because Knuckles is a cartoonish video game character, and of course, like, they're not going to put all so much detail on a cartoon character, so, yeah, but it looks nice. Um, the shoe, or the Lego bricks on his shoes, um, they don't look great at all. In fact, they look awful, but considering how small this figure is, it's understandable why it looks so bad. Um, yeah, there's just, it's just a cartoon echidna, you know? There's not much to talk about, just, yeah, in case of detailing. Um, yeah, now for the quad. Um, it's alright. I mean, actually, no, it's not alright. It's bland. So, yeah, there's not too much detailing here, just minor things like the headlights and the windshield here, and whatever these are supposed to be, but, yeah. Other than that, that's really it, so, yeah. That's it for the detailing. Eh. I mean, it's not great. It's not great. So, no pass, so, yeah. Now, at the end of the day, should you get this figure? Well, it all depends. I mean, it all depends on the price, because when I got this, I got this for, I believe, 50 cents. I believe, I don't remember, but yeah, either way, I got these for 50 cents. I don't know how much they are now, but it's probably more than $3. And if you're going to pay more than $3 for this, then, yeah, it's not worth your money whatsoever. But if you can find it cheaper than that, then go right ahead and do it. But... I mean, $3 is how much the whole set should be, but, and in case you don't know, the whole set includes Sonic, Amy, Shadow, and Knuckles, so, yeah. The set should be $3 as a whole, I'll even accept $4 for the whole set, but if you're paying more than that, then, yeah, just don't. It's not worth it at all, but, anyway, that is it for today, have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video, peace, Zach out.